All right, so I'm gonna be doing my first installment of Paul Coors oneself as another. Um, it's my new project I'm doing right now. Um, so this book is about selfhood. It has to do with selfhood and talking about what the I is, what it is to be a self, or to be a person. Um, philosophical questions around that is the question of selfhood. So I did the first and the second study, so I'll do the first one right now, though. Um, so the first one has to do with basically, um, well, the whole book has to do with Descartes, Kant, Fichte, and uh, Husserl, because they all talk about the, the, the subject. Descartes has his Cartesian subject, um, Kant has his transcendental subject, Fichte has his own sort of idea of a, su a subject too, and Husserl has his transcendental or phenomenological su subject also, and he's basically recurs in the kind of philosophy of hermeneutics, which has to do with interpretation. And interpretation is basically, basically is um, trying to get behind the meanings of things, trying to understand things, uh, to come to an understanding about things in general. So, um, <clears throat> it's, um, so this whole book is a hermeneutics of the self. There's 10 or 11 studies stu studies in there. I'll do the first study here. Um, the first study is called the person, quotes, and the identifying reference. So this also has to do with philosophy of language. Paul Ricoeur is, 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 is getting into not only continental thought, but <clears throat> he also gets into analytic thought. He thinks about Frege and Russell and um, a lot of different figures. When it comes, to, and also J.L. Austin, John Searle, a lot of thinkers about philosophy of language, and um, basically about that kind of thing. And that's pretty cool, I think, for a continental philosopher to go into the, sort, of, sort of the analytic tradition and th think about things. So it have the notion of identification, making sense of it. Um, so it means to identify is to make apparent to others. Ultimately, what he's, he's, he's going to do in this book is he's going to sort of make a point that to be brought into this world is to you going to there's going to be a sense of self. However, that's going to be ultimately related to other others also. So you can actually you, know, you can actually come to come on the terms with that, or you cannot. Um, so. Talks about the individual and he talks about the individual and individualization, which he, he, he discusses the idea of a person, and um, and we distinguish by means of by the identifying reference. The identifying reference, which has to do with <coughs> reference or um, denoting, uh, has to do with um, direct reference in in, in in philosophy of language has to do with. Uh, Frege's theory of descriptions, or um, uh, let's see, who else does that? Um, P.F. Strassen talked about it. Um, basically, the direct theory of names, or the direct theory of descriptions, or reference. So it's talking about how to individualize something in general, how to pick it out or name it. Um, so as to know an individual something in general. So it has to do with language and uh, specific connecting units um, and that's coming together into to basically basically point out individuals and um, and we individualize only if we conceptualize. And um, to individualize to is to describe more things. Language has to do with definite de description. So in this, in this first study, he discusses the, the identifying reference. So like a like a proper name or a name in general. So usually just a proper name. A proper name picks out something in, in, individually and it refers to it directly. Um, and that's kind of what he's trying to hit on here. In the second study, however, he talks about the utterance and how the utterance can be something a little bit different, and how there's 
meaning behind both of those things, and he wants to go, he wants to take both of these paths to sort of merge them. When when he's talking about this, these subjects, um, so you are specifying one single thing from all the other things. Move this here. Um, so otherness is is interpreted in its in description. So pretty much when you have this identifying reference and you pick out something, you are also specifying it from all the other things. Um, so a single name designated as a symbol, as a single in individual, in opposition to all others. Um, and privilege, it's given privilege accord according to proper names uh, assigned to humans. And, um, and that has to do with their subsequent role in conforming their identity with selfhood. So how selfhood is a big thing here. And it's kind of, he's kind of talking about how the identifying reference has, is very important to selfhood and how a proper name or a description, definite, definite description, specifically about a human, picking out a human and say, uh, Elvis Presley or um, Malcolm X, you know, picking out a certain one. When I say the words Elvis Presley or Malcolm X, I'm picking out something in specific. And of separating that one thing from everything else, from everybody else. So, um, the privilege given to given to proper names is assigned to humans has to do with their subsequent role in conforming to to their identity and selfhood. So we're having to, we're dealing with this issue of identity, what it means to to, to identify yourself and to to identify others. Um, definite descriptions or proper names indicates three logical operations of, of individualization. So there's first um, there's first um, basically there's a, a um, there's um, personal pronouns and de and uh, while well, there's um, there's a definite, there's definite descriptions um, and indicators uh, and, pro and pro proper names. So those are three logical operators of individualization. Now, a indicator. Now we know what a definite description is. We know what a proper name is. But what is a indicator? That's a definite, definite, definitely an interesting thing in policy of language. An indicator is a personal pronoun and a de and a de 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 terms. And a de de term is um, pronouns like uh, or uh, he, she, that, uh, verb tenses, um, um, yesterday, tomorrow, things of time and things of pointing out to certain things. Um, so this, that, here, there, verb tenses, uh, adverbs, stuff like that. Um, and that's all in relation to the utterance, which we will discuss. There's three. There's three con conclusions from this part of this of this study that, individ that individualization rests on a specific description. There are specific de designation procedures distinct from predication. So, designation is a little bit more distinct from predication. Predication is just um, pointing at something, but not directly designating something or dis describing or even picking out or referring to, to something. Aiming only at one specimen um, of inclusion of all all others in the, of all others in the class. Number two, these procedures have um, have don't no, have no unity apart from this aim. Number three, alone um, alone aiming the operation of of identification. The indicators aim at the I and the U, but they all do, but they do so by the same um, when, as the DA determines, because they retain their reference to the utterance understood as an event in the world. So three little conclusions he's made. 
So he then talks about the idea of a basic particular. A basic particular is um, has to do with has to do with the person. You know what a particular is. Particular um, in in metaphysics is different from a from a property in that a particular is a specific thing. Property is a thing that certain particular things can have or emulate or be, but a particular is a one specific thing. And a basic particular has to do with a person or a human. Um, so, moving from the individual to the individual each of us is. How do we do that? How do we talk about the individual and moving from that to the individual that we all are? How do we, he's basically trying to understand selfhood having to do with us. Um, and this pertain, this pertains to the book, the book that I'm currently writing, so it's why I really wanted to do this, and I'm glad that one person voted, and then one, and one, one video I did, one, one person voted for me to do the Coor over Habermas or Virilio. Um, so, um, this has to do with P.F. Strassen, and um, P.F. Strassen kind of responded to Russell and a lot of other people about adjusting a general a general framework within which we shall later place new new analysis as we work toward a discrimination or, de or a determination of the self that is necessary that is increasingly ample and concrete so we're trying to get a idea of the individual that is only has that is about us and is ample and concrete to work with so we're trying to isolate the basic particular um, physical bodies and persons that we ourselves constitute. So the individual has to do with the basic particular itself too. So nothing can be identified unless it ultimately refers to one or the other of these two kinds of particulars, person or body. The concept of person is like a physical body is a primitive concept, no way to go beyond it unless it is it is supposed to be derived from from something else. So this refers to Kant also in his critique of pure reason. Um, and he has a transcendental deduction of the notion of person. This also refers to uh, Maurice, Maurice Merleau-Ponty also. He has an idea, to, uh, he has to, he, he discusses the person and the lived body or the body itself. Um, so the concept of person is a self-designation or a self, and it's not just a unique thing anymore. A, a individual is a unique thing, and that's what he's talking about. Individualization. It's not just a unique thing more anymore. It's a self as a self-designation. It's about the self, um, and it is a basic. It is a basic particular. So it's no longer who of what speaking, but of what of particulars. Um, as a what of what of which one speaks all right um, identity described as somebody it's a, the idea of of idem or mem mem is a, is a word in French which means the same so there's kind of this idea of sameness which is going to be discussed here Derrida has also has, a, has an idea of sameness and how he kind of uses, he kind of explains in his essay, Difference, um, about how the sameness is related to, to difference, and that's a whole other, whole other topic though. Uh, Kuhr is using the word same to talk about something that's a little bit, you know, he's using it for a, for, for a different purpose. So he, talk, he wants a identity described as someone, um, and it matters for a unambiguous unambiguous identification um, so same um, is in which we're talking name um, is in which we're talking about the idea of this of same in relation to to self and that's a cardinal notion of re of re-identification so re-identification with yourself and this whole re-identification is going to be is going to be important also um, and the thing um, of same at many in many spatial spatial temporal locations also sameness of fundamental of the fundamental framework itself 
saying this in um, is unique and recurrent. That's going to be very, very important. So there's like double. He has a different word for it. It's like a double, double identification here. Um, so this third part of this study, he talks about bodies and persons. Um, P.F. Strassen says that um, the first basic, the first basic particulars are bodies, and um, we satisfy lo localization of simple spatial temporal um, scheme as a body. Um, priority is given to bodies is of the highest importance of def of defining the notion of, of a person and a single referent um, possessing two um, two um, two kinds of predicates say physical and a mental predicate so it's kind of a dualism which I'm not entirely sure if Lacour is, is basically arguing this dualism or not but there is two kinds of things here physical and a mental kinds of predicates and that's kind of where this kind of double double identification of, of the self comes through um, so are persons bodies two or are they just separate so he's kind of also raising the question of you know the of the mind body problem which matters to, to an extent here um, and or are, and persons are held uh, they hold a reason to to generally define the basic basic particulars and either are bodies or they possess bodies whichever you what way you want to where you want to look at it so it's really not that important but it does matter to an extent so pr the primitive notion of body reinforces the primary category of sameness so you see you have the primary notion of body but there is also a mental thing here so um, I think it, whether you are dualist or a monist it does also matter um, that you have this mental ideal idea of yourself and yet you also identify yourself with what your mind is and what your body is so whether you want to say that they're, they're, they're the same thing or not there's still this double identification of your physical and your mental parts of the person or your body and, and your body sorry so the current concept of concept of person um, to answer a question you must posit the you must posit the question. So he kind of he kind of discusses the general framework. So to answer a question, you must posit it. You must ask it. So there's four or there's three little things here, little conclusions. The notion of a person is determined by means of the predicate of the predicates we we um, ascribe to it. The, the theory of persons is therefore contained within the, 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 the general fr framework and we approach to a person by way of identifying reference so back to this idea of the of the, the identifying reference which picks out a thing and we are we are identifying something with a certain thing and with the physical and mental thing there's a double double double, double identification it's my terms not, not his um, so the strangeness the strangeness related to the primitive notion of person contrasts or uh, consists in the fact that the, the person is the same thing to which two kinds of predicates are ascribed that's kind of that, that double identification thing the physical and mental and number three the primitive concept of person will pose the greatest difficulty to a theory of the, the self and that solely um, derived from the reflexive properties of the utterance and that is what the that is what, that is what we will discuss in the next study here so let, let me know your thoughts on this and i'll be back with a video in the second study and i'll, I'll definitely be, be, be trying to do all 10 studies here and thank you